Welcome to Retro Bassin. Welcome to the last episode of Retro Bassin in the year 2022. Today on Retro Bassin, we're going to be talking about an old school family tradition or more accurately, a family recipe. Beside me is a picture of my grandparents, Earl and Maisie, and I always love going over their house this time of year and engaging in that uh, most favorite of family traditions, and that is making Lithuanian honey liqueur, also known as Vitatis. My grandfather's side of the family came from Lithuania and, like many folks in that generation, settled in and around Baltimore, Maryland. Growing up, there were a number of Lithuanian foods that we enjoyed, like Lithuanian sausage, but my favorite was by far Vitatis, which is essentially a mulled whiskey. So today on Retro Bass, and we're going to be heading into the kitchen and brewing up a fresh batch of Vitatis to hand out to some friends and family. Stick around. All right, well, Whale and I are in the kitchen ready to brew up a fresh batch of Vitatis. So follow along and I'll show you the step-by-step -step on how to make this thing. So you wanna do is get you a pot like this and you wanna start off by adding a half a cup of water. Go ahead and add that. Sure. This is a honey-based liqueur. So you do wanna get some honey. Uh, this is a local Texas honey that I picked up. And we want to add one cup of honey per the recipe. All right, next on the list is we're gonna add uh, one orange and one lemon. And I'm gonna go ahead and zest these to get a little bit more of the, uh, the flavor in the vitatis. All right, well, I think we've gotten all the zest off of that lemon. Let me go ahead and knock that in. Sure. I'm also gonna go ahead and peel this lemon and put the pulp in there as well. Next, we're gonna go ahead and do the same deal to the orange. We'll zest it and then put in the pulp. Yay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and dump the zest in there. All right, now it's time for the spices and really you can kind of go crazy with whatever spices you want, but I'm gonna stick to my grandfather's recipe and basically put in the exact spices that he recommends. First thing you wanna do is get some cinnamon and put in two whole sticks of cinnamon. Get you a big one. Next are some whole cloves, and I always put in a handful of these guys. Cool. Okay, you're gonna have to get out your measuring spoons for the next couple spices on the list. The main spice that you do taste in this recipe are actually the caraway seeds, and we're gonna put in a full teaspoon of these guys. Next is the ground nutmeg, and you're gonna to wanna to put in a quarter teaspoon of that. Uh, last spice on the list is ground ginger and uh, another quarter teaspoon of that. Okay. 
All right, we're gonna move this over to the heat and let this thing come to simmer for about 20 minutes. While that's getting warmed up the temperature, I will show you what will be the final step of the viditus making process. And once this mixture of honey, fruit, and spice is ready to go and strained, we're gonna add in this. This is some uh, old Overholt rye whiskey. In my family, we actually used to use the Pikesville whiskey uh, a good bit, but either they discontinued it or I just can't get it down here in old Tejas. So what you really want though is a nice uh, cheapo bottle of rye whiskey. If you're paying more than 20 bucks for this thing, you're probably getting too nice of a brand. So when this is all done mixing and straining, we'll go ahead and add the whiskey. The cool thing about this recipe is as this mixture starts to heat up, the smells really come alive. Um, and by the end of this thing, your whole house is pretty much smelling like bit of this, but luckily it's a good smell. Okay, the broth has been simmering for about 20 minutes. It's time to pull it off the stove, head on over to the sink and strain it twice. After I filter with the large strainer, I like to go ahead and run the liquid again through this, which is a more finer mesh coffee strainer. This gets out that larger sediment and really gives you a nice clear product at the end of the day. Okay, we have double strained the Viditas broth and now it's time to add in a little old overhaul to make this thing high test. Uh, but first, we've gotta give way on some Kiditas. You ready? Yes. Delicious. All right, now that that's out of the way, it is uh, rye whiskey time. And one of the lessons I learned with this is the first time I did it, I actually put the whiskey in too early during the cooking process, and I think that might have a tendency to cook off some of the alcohol. So if you want to keep this thing as high test as possible, definitely don't put that in till the end. All right, well, I hope everybody has a great New Year's Eve out there in retro bass land. I'll see you guys in 2023, but until then, cheers and fish it old school.